Welcome everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon, and we'll be playing a game by Okomotive called Far Lone Sails. Now this is a game I've been um, kind of sort of excited about uh, a while ago when I first saw it on Steam. Now I don't, I didn't really know what it was about, or I don't even know now what it is about, but I really like the sort of style. It looked like sort of post-apocalyptic. Oh my god, look at that. We're controlling that little boy, girl, man. I'm not sure. Oh, wow, that's so cute. Can we jump? Yes, we can. Is this a grave? Yeah, I have no idea what this is about, but a big thank you to Dr. Loco for uh, actually gifting this game to me. It's been on my wish list. V. I can pick it up. Oh, I can also pick it up with E. Is that our house? Oh, that's cool. See, I like games that do this stuff. Uh, this sort of stuff. Um, Side-scrolling and you can see inside. Oh, there's a... Oh, that was cool. I can turn it on and off. How do I go up? Like so. So, apparently we've been designing that thing on the wall down there. Some kind of a steam machine thingy. Oh, I can zoom in with X. Maybe I should really be playing this with a uh, controller, I suppose. But Oh, what about this? Can I pick it up? Yes, I can. Will I need all of these things? I have no idea. What about this? Let's bring everything. I don't really think we need these things. It just showed us that we can actually pick them up. But you know what? I'm gonna pick up our suitcase. I think that's a suitcase. Look at the buildings there. They're all sort of destroyed or abandoned. So I suppose it must have been some kind of a apocalyptic event, perhaps. We're also extremely tiny if you look at all the uh, fences and such. Oh, look. Hello. Wow. The water... The water has receded. The ocean. I suppose that was the ocean. Kind of gives me a slight vibe of uh, the game inside. Where are we going? All of this was underwater, otherwise. Was this actually a ship? Ah, there's our, uh... There's our thing. But there's something red underneath there. I think it's a button. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's cool. Look at that. Steam, speed, energy. This is our little, uh... Ah, oh, that machine looks cool. And obviously we cannot get past over there because, well, we need the machine to actually drive over it. Right, so I have my suitcase with us. I suppose this is... Oh, this is a little... Oh, it goes up to the top. That's cool. I think that's the exhaust over there, the pipe. The chimney, actually. And we've got our little uh, seagull with us. Let's go down here. What are these? Not sure what they are. Wait, I can zoom in. Tour. Oh, your? Hmm. Yeah, let's turn this on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that was our, um... Okay, I understand now. That is our, uh... Wood, or coal, or whatever. So now we need to produce some steam. No? Oh, okay, pushing that will go forward. What's this then? Oh, it's a brake. Okay. Interesting. And I see we've got many hooks throughout the ship. So I'm assuming they're all for... Uh... There we go, now it's locked in. 
Yeah! Oh, hold on. This is a little bit too loud. Uh, let me do it like this. I think that's gonna be better. Oh, that's so cool. Let's check it out from the outside. Where's the sail? It's over there, but it's tiny. Oh! No, 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 no. Gotta keep going. And we need more steam, I suppose. Do I have to keep pressing on that, or was that because I went out? Let's put more steam in there. Or energy. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that thing go! Can we burn this as well? I wonder. Okay, I do need to adjust this little knob every now and then, it appears. Because otherwise it unlocks steam. Oh. What's going on? That little steam icon over there, that little meter, goes up. And I suppose it makes the thing go faster and faster, but then, when it reaches maximum... Yeah, there you go, it starts going red. Ah, and the machine automatically shuts off, I understand. Yeah, but I want more power! More! I wonder what happens if you let it go too high. Well, we're almost out of uh, power. Oh yeah, look! I turned my suitcase into energy. <laughs> what if I just do it like this? Oh, st steam still goes up. Let's see what happens. We need to find out. Okay, it automatically goes. I mean, uh, releases the pressure. Oh, hold on. What's up there? Look, there's those, those two bars over there. And that little odometer or whatever it is. What's that? What? Some kind of a winch, maybe? It's quite exciting. Wow, look at all that stuff. Lovely. I want it all. Yeah, this, this sort of gives me an inside vibe, but also... Um, what was that game? That weird post-apocalyptic game with those monsters. It was also side-scrolling. I cannot remember what it was called. All right, let's uh, do this. No, go back in. There. Can I put it up there? Yes, I can. There we go. Perfect. I like these sort of small management games. They're fun. Okay, so I can just put this one over there and leave it for later. Alright, off we go. Oh, and uh, pressing the throttle also gets rid of the anchor. That's pretty nice. Look at our bed over there. Also, the music changes when you start going again. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow, that's, that's a really well-built... Um, thingamajig over there. So what if I do this? Oh, it actually goes faster. Wait a second, I understand now. Hmm, not sure if I do. So, this turns the energy into steam and actually does power the engine, but then when you use this, it seems to make the, the engine go faster. Okay. At least I understand it now. More power! No. Oh, okay. That's actually actually fine. We need more of these little boxes. No, I want all of them. <gasps> can I go into reverse? I'm not sure if I can go into reverse. That's not good. I will have lost one. No! I need them all. Actually, I can go out the uh, back as well. So, not all is... Oh, there's the winch! Okay, I suppose that happens if you maybe run out of steam or something, out of energy. Not sure. Okay, so... Let's bring these over here. No! It's a little bit difficult juggling this. There you go. 
I should probably put these on, on the winches, but... Yeah. For now, they should be fine. Let's see if we can actually get this one as well that's underneath. No. We'll just have to drive over it, I suppose. So let's do so. Not too far, though. Just a little bit. Oops. No, no, no. No. Darn it. I just want to get ready over there, but... I suppose this is fine as well. Alright. Now let's go and get it. I like all the physics inside. You can see the boxes moving back and forth. Uh, let's put this one over here for now. Oh, we've got a chair as well, which we can burn. And, well, a light as well. <laughs> and our little bed. That's cute. Alright. Let's get going. Power! Wait, there's... with C. Yeah, there you go. With C, you can also zoom out. Nice. Alright, steam. Oh, yeah. We're definitely picking up speed now. More energy, please. Uh, come on. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. Look at that. There we go. That'll be fine. Yeah, this thing is quite lumbering. I wonder... Wh whoa! I wonder when the... Um, I wonder when the sails come into play. Oops. Let's do this. Get this one inside. That sounds like... Soda being poured. It's quite refreshing. <laughs> okay. So let me see, what can I do with the winch? Can I attach it to this? No. There's also a barrel here. I suppose that will give us even more energy. If we use it. I'm not sure. Come on, get in there. I want it all... Ooh, there you go. Lovely. So, yeah. I have no idea what the story of this uh, game is. Um... I have no idea why the world is so barren. Um, but we are certainly going to find out. Alright, let's go. Lock that button in. And I still don't know why we're such a tiny, tiny person. <laughs> very cute, but very tiny. Is that a little... You see that on, on the top left, just above the rotating cogs. That looks like some kind of a... Fire hose, maybe. I'm not sure. Some kind of a coil. Oh, do you see with this button over here? There's a little bar that's coming out. I think that's the timer. Like a dead man switch. So if you're not there to push it... Okay, we need some more... Uh, power! More power! Oh, look at that wall. Oh, is that, um... That looks like a dam. Wow, we've picked up some speed now. Oh, more stuff. Hopefully I don't lose all that steam. I think I do, though. It's a bit of a shame. No, I don't want the winch. No. I want the little box. Okay, let's get up here. Um, what if I just put it... Ew, no, no, no. Come back. What if I just put it there? No, it doesn't work. Put it on that winch. Or hook, really. Okay, we require more, more power. There we go. Right. Off we go! Full speed ahead! Whoosh. Yeah, it feels like if you use that steam, you get a burst of speed. Uh, maybe not. Not sure. No, no, no. More power, please. Uh, 
I don't think I can do anything with that. More power! Yeah, that definitely got us a big boost of speed. Did you see that? Oh, can I go up there? I doubt it. But it would be interesting. Nah, no, there's no way to... Well, there's, there seems to be something up there. Some kind of a ball or buoy. Oh, look at it up top. There's a lot of stuff up there. Not really sure how I'd be able to jump up there, though. Maybe with a winch? Well, I have to remember I can only go forwards. Never backwards. As far as I can understand, you can never go backwards anyway. Hmm, I think I already sort of blew my chance over there. So what? Oh, yeah, look! It is! I think that uses energy, though. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's go forward a little bit. See if we can somehow jump on that thing. There is no way we could jump on that. Hmm. I am so bad at puzzles in games. What else is over here? Nothing. Can't even go there. Could I attach a winch to one of the legs of this thing? Maybe make it crash down or something. Excuse me. Nope. That's not gonna work. Alright, well, I suppose we'll just have to go. Don't really know how I would get this thing. Whoa. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> the answer is much more simple than I thought it would be. Look at that, there's some barrels up there, I think. There's also a button. And this ball. I suppose we can also turn it into a... Uh, what is this? You know, for some reason... And I'm metagaming here a little bit. But for some reason it feels like I shouldn't really burn any of this stuff. Like the chairs and the little baubles I find. Just because there may be a memory of the old world. Of the world forgotten. And while you can, maybe that's not the best idea to do. Uh, are we going to see the inside of this? Yes, we are. That's cool. Yeah, this... I should definitely be playing this with a controller. Oh, there we go. Let's see how far I can uh, lower this. All the way, I suppose. Oh, that's a sail as well, isn't it? Oh, I upgraded my... Th Whoa. I upgraded my contraption with a sail now. So I don't need the energy all the time. That's pretty cool. If I do this... Whoa, that's a huge sail. That is a huge sail. Yeah, that's much more preferable. I don't uh, burn energy now. Interesting music. Look at the clothes of our character, that's pretty cool. And it is a very sad and desolate world. I really do hope they'll uh, explain to us what happened here. Oh, the sails are so much better. Look at this. It's like Mad Max. I wonder what happens if I jump off the thing while it's moving. Get away, birds! Yeah, this definitely uh, gives me a very sort of Mad Max vibe. Without the crazy people in, you know, in cars. Ahoy there! Ooh. Can I stop there? Oh, no, that's just a piano. I thought I could do something with it, but I suppose not. Um, darn it. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, love the sails. What a desolate and sad environment. Old bus there. Sad, mel melancholic music. I do hope they give us an explanation of what has happened to the world. Because if there's one thing I, I get really annoyed with in games is when you play, you know, a very interesting, very sort of um, ambiguous game where you don't quite understand what's going on, but you're constantly waiting for that explanation, and then you never get it, or you never get a proper explanation. That's quite annoying. Um, so I do hope they will explain, you know, in the course of the game, about what's going on. About what happened. Look at that. Because we seem to be like some kind of a lone survivor. And in fact, even the game says far lone sails. Ooh. Let's, uh, we're gonna stop over there. These sails are great! Oh! Ah! Sorry! Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean that. Sorry. Oh, just disappeared. What's that? I'm not sure what it is. Some kind of a toy? Yeah, I'm not gonna burn this un unless I have to. I'm gonna take this and put it there. Where I burn things. Is there something else here? I like the aesthetics of the game. I really do. Can I just take all these things and burn them? <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh, look at that propeller. That's so cool. What is that? A med kit? Oh, wow. This boat actually forms a bridge over this chasm. What's a little bell? Man, this game is so cute. That propeller is gonna start spinning, isn't it? Um... Oh, it's... It was a sail. Ooh! Okay, now this way is blocked. So we have to get back. Uh-oh. What the hell is going on there? And there's still more stuff to pick up over there. So I'm definitely going to do that. We've got our own bell. There you go. Ding. Come on. <laughs> That's cute. Alright. Let's turn on the sail. Just so we have a, an easier time going over there. Because going back and forth is too much of a bother. Right, there it is. Uh, a little too much, I think. I won't be able to pick up that suitcase. Well, maybe I will. Excellent. Pick that up as well. I'm not sure what it is. Come on. What is it? Some kind of a little box. Toolbox, maybe? Not sure. Okay. Off we go. Um... I wonder if my character's head... I, I wonder if my character gets any headaches from having to bump into little buttons all the time. And he probably thinks to himself, Man, I wish I had designed this thing a little differently so I, oh, so I didn't have to jump into buttons all the time. Lunar. That ship has seen better days. And I have no idea why we build this thing, obviously to get away from where we were surviving. But where are we hoping to go? Why is there a stop sign there? I thought this, this entire place was supposed to be underwater. Hmm. Is it just me or are the colors changing? There's a little barricade. They're placed every now and then, so you cannot uh, proceed without the actual machine. 
if we go... Oh, that's how you... Okay, I understand. That's how you can uh, disengage the sails, by bumping into the button again. Okay, makes sense. What a very sort of relaxing game. Of course, I make it seem not relaxing because I go, Oh, no, I want to, you know, drop the anchor and pick that stuff up. No, I overshot it, blah, blah, blah. I really hope we don't get any monsters out here because the back of this contraption is completely open. Anyone can just get in. Oh, look at that thing. We're gonna have to stop. Or maybe we're just supposed to crash into it. Let's see. There's more stuff to pick up here, which is nice. Another barrel. I wonder why we're getting so much of this stuff, considering we now have the sail. But I'm assuming we'll get to an area where we, you know, we won't have a lot of <laughs> hoarder. There we go, achievement unlock, hoarder. That's so like me in games. There's a button there at the top. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm assuming there will be a place where there will need be not much wind. In which case, we'll have to burn stuff for energy. That's so cool. Oh, okay, I see. It needs, uh... Fuel! I wonder if I could give it something else than this barrel, because I have a feeling, even though I haven't tested them yet, that the barrel gives you a lot more energy. Oh wow, it's a drawbridge! That's cool. Another bell. I really do wonder if these are some sort of collectibles. And if you don't burn them, you get maybe an alternate ending at the end or something like that. We'll have to drop the bridge again, which we do with that button over there, I'm assuming. <clears throat> that is very sort of picturesque, isn't it? What is that? A new home. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's not good! How do we get down? Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> By apparently using our frock or skirt or whatever that is. Okay. Oh no, that's a light. That's not a bell. I take it back. We don't have enough hooks. Look at that. Okay, have that there. Put that there. All right, I think we can go now. Just, I'm hoping that the, um, the bridge is not going to completely collapse. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry I'm sort of still getting my bearings uh, on this game. But this is going to certainly be a very interesting experience. I really like how the game looks. And I really like how every time we put some more stuff into the energy over there, a reservoir. It sounds like you're pouring a yummy cold soda drink. Anyway, have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Dr. Loco for gifting me this. And uh, check out my Patreon in the meantime. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.